Halloween's here. You know what that means? Yeah, all right. Tis the fall season, which means the leaves are changing, it's jacket season, and it's also spooky with Halloween. I personally love Halloween. You get to dress up in costumes without a convention happening. It's also one of the few times during the year that I look a little bit normal. And I'm not even into spooky things, even though I do play Phasmophobia and Alien Isolation. Rest in peace routine. But also, the Halloween stores are open, which in my opinion is the next best thing to Hollywood. Since I don't live in Los Angeles anymore, I don't have the studio warehouses in my backyard, so I have to make my own props, which is fine, or I can buy my own props at the Halloween store. So that's what we're doing today. I'm also inviting an old friend to join me, so let's go. All right, just got to the Halloween store. I'm in my set black because spooky, and uh, let's go meet up with Tony. Hey, what up? Hello. It's Kibiji. That's mine. Thank you. I got a haircut, so it's all good. It looks so nice. We're at the Halloween store. So what are you getting? An astronaut suit. I want the astronaut helmet. I also want... <laughs> I want lots of stuff. Here's the thing I thought would be fun today, though. Okay. You have a lot of stuff you want to get. Yeah. What if we limited it to a hundred bucks? Why? You gotta save money for maybe other stuff. You just got like a new camera and- Oh, uh, you're right. Black Friday coming up. I'm crossing my arms because I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he is super right. Okay, yeah, I will take that challenge. No. This is actually a good idea because in a lot of cases when you're on a film production, you have a certain budget limit. <sighs> I just like spending money, so. Let's go. Let's do this. So the idea that I have is getting very general stuff. So like an astronaut costume, a skeleton costume, just something very generalized. Something that I can use for multiple projects and not just really specific projects. For specific projects, I think I can create something, but let's see what we got. Absolute corner. Here, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Wait, do you see anything you want? The anime stuff back there was good. Really? I've always wanted one of these fat suits for <laughs> some reason. Oh, yes. All right. First good find, astronaut helmet. I might get a few of these just because I think these are super generalized. I actually had used one of these before uh, for another costume of mine. I'll have to come back here and at least get one, maybe two of them. Yes, oh heck yes. So I actually used this uh, costume piece for Rory in Drone. I'll get more of these, cause uh, hers is all dirtied up and decked out, but I could use just a standard lab coat. All right, how much? $21.99, okay, not bad. That's not bad. No way, am I already over? No way. You're gonna, you're gonna have to be selective. Oh boy, this is legit. I'm. This is gonna be really tough. That's two. I think I already have one of these, actually. $50. Is it really? Yeah. This and this alone, I'm out. So I'll just get these for now. Rick and Morty is overrated. I agree. Good, but overrated. Look, it's Chris Pratt! So this stuff might be pretty interesting. While I'm not much into steampunk, it's still a great start. I don't have to make this stuff from scratch. I could modify either the painting, maybe I can take these off, or go with another set of goggles. Same for the makeup as well. This is like themed makeup. It might be nice to get some of that stuff just in general. I don't think I'm gonna go for makeup today, mostly just because I'm not a makeup artist and I would just hire someone who's a professional at makeup. Yeah, this is another good section because of all the makeup opportunities. I wanted to create a Solarian cosplay once and that requires a ton of makeup and latex and actually like building out certain crafty stuff. I don't know a thing about this stuff so I don't think I'll be buying anything here. So blood's pretty cool. You can make your own but in case you don't want to you can just buy your own. There's plenty of tutorials online on how to create blood. They have capsules, they have spray blood which is pretty cool. Do you get blood capsules for when you want blood to come out of your mouth? Yeah, pretty much. So, like, if you want someone, like, bleeding out- I don't have a mouth, but if you want someone bleeding out of their mouth, 
in a really gross manner, then you can use these little capsules here. All you do is you bite into them and then it turns the saliva inside your mouth red. And so you can just be drooling and it's really gross and slimy, but it's all red as if like, you know those anime moments when like you get punched in the gun, it's like, Ugh. I wasn't, it's, uh, uh, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> What am I hearing? <gasps> it's chickens! That's what it was. No. Don't stop. Turn okay. off, please. I'm dying. <laughs> I could lose a lot of money here. There's a lot of just cool miscellaneous things from a ray gun. A bloody bandage would actually be an amazing idea. Or a bullet belt. I think I already have a bullet belt, but still. So, like, you can just grab some, like, extra accessories. Even if you already have a cosplay that you built yourself. You can still go to the Halloween store and then just get accessories to then complete your outfit. Ooh, I was actually looking for fake money. Oh, six dollars. Oh, that's not bad. I see that. They're pretty big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Okay, so I might just print my own then. I was about to say what? Wait, hold up, hold up. Do not make counterfeited money. Make prop money that you cannot use in real life. I mean, it might be cool for set deck. I found my dad. I could like deck it out with some more engravings, maybe give it a more metallic finish. How much is it? Uh, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Nine bucks. I'm looking for those like metallic, shiny like sheet masks. I forget what they're called, but it's literally just like a plate of a shiny reflective, almost like a mirror material. And a lot of people have used it for different accessory pieces. Evil Ted has used it for some of his uh, cosplays. I even used it for drone. Um, I don't see them here though, which is actually really surprising, but if you do find them, get a ton of them, they're not too expensive, and you can use them for a ton of different costumes. It's going in here. Are you at it? Oh, I, I have not been counting my money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that actually scared me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit squishy. Actually, this is just Bane. This is Bane? This is basically just Bane, but with goggles. Hey! hey, 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 hey. Uh, oh. This whole wall right here would be so perfect. You have a ton of knives, whether it's like kitchen knives or like a dagger. Actually, this one looks really cool. Or, hey, any Half-Life fans, anyone? It's all made of like a really dense foam or some type of rubber material, which means compared to, let's say, metal, this is relatively safe. You shouldn't whack anyone with it still, but as a prop in an action scene, this is perfect. You can kind of see the squish. So it's safe enough to be used on set. And again, you can swap it out for a hero prop for those close-ups. And even then, for a close-up, this looks pretty darn good. I legit kind of want this because I've always, like, I love the idea of hitting somebody with a wood. Wow. Yeah. Is that a two? Ooh, I would do it. I would do it. I use a Sonic that's not you. <laughs> <laughs> Rude! My thinking stick. It's your thinking stick. Yeah. Why is this cool? No, Whoa. it's a crowbar. Yeah, it's a crowbar. Yo, I gotta get this. I gotta. It's just so cool. I'm proud of you. I, as long as one of us gets one of these rubber. <laughs> Are these rubber? No, they're plastic. Hit me with it. Harder. Harder. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. You're trying to get both? Yeah. They're both only nine bucks. I'm gonna go for both. Are they nine bucks? Or are they nine ninety nine? Nine ninety nine. Ninety nine. <laughs> Whatever. Very loud. Never, never, ever, 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 ever touch that. Hey Tony, you wanna play Phasmo in real life? No. I'm literally recording right now because he told me to. I don't do Ouija they, boards. They even have ghost know. journals. I'm leaving. They even have ghost no, journals. No, no. My, my first uh, childhood crush. Wait, are you serious? A little bit, a little bit. He, I found, I always found Jack to be so uh, charismatic and charming. Okay, so this is another really neat section of the store that I like. Lights. Whether it's Halloween, Christmassy lights, or it's black lights, or it's really cool, like, not to say gimmicky, but you know, it's a little gimmicky, like a hanging skull flame light. Tabletop 
flame light. Yeah, it's like a fake fire coming out. They look like they're battery operated. $24.99, so dang it. No, 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 no. It's like, it's like being in a convention again, but a horror convention. I'm gonna say hi to it. I know. That's a lot of juice. So, if you don't have a hazer, this is probably the next best thing, is just a simple fog machine at the Halloween store. Uh, it's fairly affordable, and they have a ton of them. Is it 100? No, it's 40. Uh, okay. Still, I'm way over budget. Between four items, I'm over budget already. I think I'll just wait. I'll wait on a fog machine. I'll buy an actual like fog machine for filmmaking. Yeah. <sighs> I just like how I'm walking around and here and just see like big box over here. <laughs> Gonna review how much it all costs and see if he is triumphant. <laughs> six items total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Okay. Dang, wow, that's actually, I was expecting a, uh, to get a lot more makeup. 40, 46, 22, 46. Can I do basic math? 68. I'm a robot. 68, thank you. Uh, 78, 88, 98. Oh my god! I was expecting to go over! Whoa! It's a genuine Oh my god! You're like exactly 200! Wow! That's excluding tax. I was gonna, but I was gonna say, but that's not tax. I'm okay with this. I literally was planning to go over. Like, I had it all scripted out. Oh, I'll probably go over and I'll probably have to make a decision. Oh no. <laughs> Do I want anything else? <laughs> okay, since I'm under $2. I'm gonna get a friend a gift. <laughs> oh, I know where you're going. Which, which one do you want? I, I guess I'll just grab one of these. Hey! Cool. Put that in the basket. <laughs> Alright, time to go buy the stuff. see spider webs and that's a pretty inexpensive thing no I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it I am still blown away that I kept under budget I don't know how either and now we can make an outer wilds cosplay okay we were successful in purchasing stuff I went under budget which I am still so surprised by as a buddy I can't believe that happened being literally not even under budget but it was like two buck under you know ignoring the gift ignoring and the ignoring tax. the uh, taxing yeah 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 you yeah, know yeah, yeah. but because we went under budget i think we can get you we can splurge just a tiny bit biggest takeaway i'd say is halloween stores are great if you don't have like film resources around your area so this is a great opportunity to stock up on some cool stuff and also have a budget and stick to it i would say stay under budget because then you can have the budget for the other parts of the project. Sometimes it's actually okay to go slightly over budget, but sometimes to complete the project to its greatest, you might have to go over budget just a little bit. Just a little bit. But that wraps it up. My name's Lo-Fi. I'm Kibuji. You can find me somewhere at Kibuji, West Side Otaku. That's, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Thanks for being part of the crew. And until next time. Bye! <laughs>